Hi all, Aditya here from Chet Soft Tech. In this session, we are going to discuss a scenario. Uh, this this is actually the client scenario that was given to us uh, to perform in our company. So in this, the client wants an employee uh, employee uh, leave verification uh, system in which if a employee fills out a request of a leave, uh, this request have to directly go to his supervisor and if the supervisor approves it, he has to get a mail and if he denies it again, again even then uh, the, the, the employee has to get a mail in which he can renew his uh, application and uh, revise it and resend it to the uh, supervisor or he can just withdraw that requirement. So in this uh, this is a flow that has been very clearly given by the, our client uh, and uh, this is what we need to perform in our project and this we have to have initially we have a, a request created and once a request is created it, it goes for an approval uh, the, the request for the leave goes to the approval to the approver's uh, email id and then once the, the request is approved the receipt the send the, the person who has requested for the mail will will receive a mail the person who requested for the leave will receive a mail and then it will be submitted to, to the requester if the approval is been denied or not approved it will will have two options there there is a delete request and this change request delete request is you are withdrawing your uh, request and change request is again you are reapplying for the same leaf with a different uh, description or something like that so uh, with this, this it completes a workflow so this is a simple or uh, simple requirement for which initially we are going to uh, go ahead and create an organizational unit as uh, we already discussed in the and the theory part we need to go into ppoc transaction to to assign the organizational uh, unit and uh, details about the positions of various people so in the organizational object uh, we'll have today's date extended to an infinite date so if you want to change this date to a particular date till till when this have to be applicable then you can change this date simply but since it is a uh, infinite date we'll go for 999 say okay and in this we just have to go ahead with this uh, zjhs org underscore 1189 and this is the organizational unit which we are planning to do it there is a organizational unit which we already uh, given by the client and as of now we are doing it with our company and later we are going to do it do the same with the client's company name so here now jets of tech organizational unit 21 this is what i am just giving it and uh, i'll just save this organizational unit the moment we save the organizational unit that will be appearing in the task assignment so once this organizational unit has been created we need to create a job uh, we need to create a particular uh, job and we need to create two, two jobs in fact one job we are creating it for the managerial role another job we are creating it for the clerk clerk role so for the managerial role we'll go ahead into the uh, create and here we'll double click on the job so in this we'll create the managerial role here so zjhs job underscore ld that's a lead job so we'll go for zjhs zjhs job underscore ld and here lead job in jhs say ok and this has been saved and you can see that job uh, appearing here and under the organizational unit and then we'll go ahead and uh, our next requirement would be to create a position ok uh, a, a particular person if it joins there is something called uh, uh, job and there is something called position so job is mapped to a position for example in, a, in an organization manager is a job a person joins for a managerial job so it's a job and position is he is a manager for a particular client for example if jh soft tech for jh soft tech if uh, parliji is a client and parliji is a manager for managing the parliji account client this is what happens in a uh, uh, particular uh, 
jo job okay so there is a, there is a difference between job and the position so we are going to go for position it's a position is department head of jhs so now we have to create the position let us go and create the position for creating the position you just need to click this staff lists and in this we have something called position so we just need to click on the position here if you can see you can see your organizational unit click on the position and in this position we need to assign the position name that position is like zjhs pos underscore ld is a position there is a new position that we are creating and then the description for uh, the new position is position as department head in jhs and then click on save now this is a position that is created now what we have to do is we have to assign this particular position to the uh, job that we have created just now this is what we need to do ppoom okay so there is a position there is a uh, lead job here and now we have to assign this position to this thing so we need we just all that we have to do is we have to close to the lead position uh, position and in this in, in the position we have to assign this particular job so we'll just give that job here since uh, we know the job name so it's, it's something like zjh star because if you don't give it you'll have list of lot of jobs so we are assigning a job to this position this is what we are doing and save so once we do this uh, we have a lead position for uh, we have a lead and we have a position under that position we have a lead job that is jhs and uh, once this has been done uh, this is this is something which we have uh, 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 we have done that we have we have created a lead job we have created a position and we have assigned this uh, lead job to the position and now what we have to do is we have to assign a user for this because a manager can be only a person an individual person we are going to create a user for this so for that what we are doing is initially we will be creating a user for this job position assign user there will be something called assign user so there will be something called assign user here just task here So for the position we need to right click on this assign and in this assign we have user and in this user we just need to search for the user SAP user as of now we are doing it uh, for uh, uh, our our ex our uh, understanding and later point of time we will do it ag exactly according to the requirement of wh what is the username of that manager we will find it out and we will we'll save it. So with this the organizational structure is, uh, organizational unit is created a lead position is created and a lead job is created and we have assigned this lead job to the position and we also gave a user for this position and now we have to go, go for a new position for that what we are doing is we are going for uh, uh, create and then we are going to create a job here going to, going to create a new job here so we'll go for the organizational account level then we'll click on create and in this we'll go for the job and in this job we'll create a new job the new job that we have here is uh, the clerk job for this we have zjhs job underscore clk and in this the description for this is employee clerk jhs and in this once it's been done 
we just need to save this and there's a new job and we also have to create a new position so let us go and create a new position for this and uh, we'll click on this create or national unit create position so we'll create a new position here for the new position let's create this as zjhs pos underscore clk is a new position and the description is position clk chs that's it now once it's been done save it once this is saved the position is also done and we need to assign that uh, job the job that we have done is zjhs star and in this the job is clerk job so we are creating a position and we are assigning a job here and we are not assigning a user here because it can be any user any user who is assigned to this particular uh, uh, yeah, manager will be automatically uh, will be eligible to apply for a leave so anybody can apply for a leave but when it is been approved only the user which we have assigned to the manager can approve it and uh, say it is uh, approved or deny okay so th with this we are we have done the basic things so i'll re i'll once again review what we have done we have created one job we created one job managerial manager and then we assigned a position to him and uh, what is the position that we have assigned is Uh, so manager at for Parleji client something like that Parleji client and now here we have clerk so the clerk for that the position is clerk and we are not giving any clerk can accept so this is what we have done first we have created an organizational unit then we created a two jobs one is manager one is clerk but initially what we did is one week once we created the manager we also created a, a position called manager for parlegy client and uh, then what we had is did is we have assigned this particular uh, uh, manager position concept to a particular username and the username is also something which we have done it as a mandatory thing but the clerk is something which is a uh, which is someone anybody can do that so we are not giving any we are not assigning any user above before uh, before doing all this we have created an organizational unit this is the basic uh, initial stage of the project that you have to do for the project for the client and remaining things is like we are going to go further and uh, configure the remaining things okay so this is our organizational structure we have i'm just uh, we have jet software is our organizational unit that we created and we have lead job and we have a clerk job employee job so this is a lead this is an employee and we have two positions one is a clerk position another is the department head and then we have if you want to create a new position you can just click on this and you can create a new position but uh, as of now we are creating two positions so we can create for if there are n number of uh, employees like you know 40 employees are there for all the 40 employees we'll have this uh, details okay that's it so once you save it and come back come back out of it and uh, this is the first step that we have to do at the uh, con workload which we are configuring for the client this is actually the project number 433 